Um, and so do you have any words of support for people who are dealing with this, the, the kinds of oppressions that you were talking about in your, in your talk? Is there anything that you would sort of want to communicate to them? I think my words to anyone, you know, anywhere, regardless of where they live or what faith they do or don't identify with, is that this is an incredibly exciting time to be alive. We're watching a part of the world, i.e. the Middle East and North Africa from where I come, rise up against dictatorship. And this is a part of the world that for too long was neglected and was described as being happy with dictatorship, which was very, very racist and, and very kind of regressive. Uh, a way to describe them and I'm very proud to be from uh, of that part of the world and I'm very proud of the courageous men and women in that part of the world who are showing the entire world what it means to sacrifice for freedom and what it means to truly fight to be free and to inspire everyone and to make everyone basically ask this is the price that people are willing to pay to be free and to make sure that their government represents them. What am I now doing? So I think what happens in Egypt right now or anywhere else in the Middle East and North Africa is inspiring the entire world and it's basically the center of the universe. Fantastic. Um, is there anything else that you want to add about this event or Muslims for Progressive Values or anything that you're talking about? Really? Um, only that I think that being a Muslim in North America and being a Muslim from Egypt today as this revolution of ours continues mm -hmm. is very exciting to me because it finally unpacks what it means to be Muslim and there isn't just one way to be Muslim because again there isn't this litmus test for being Muslim there isn't one way to be Muslim there isn't this you know you kind of do this and, and you're Muslim I think that as long as you identify with being a Muslim that's all that counts and, in, and there's, there's liberty and there's comfort and there's a, a great deal of space to maneuver basically and to rise up against all kind of dictatorship and all kinds of um, conservative and regressive forces that have claimed all along to own what it means to be Muslim and I think what we're telling them today is Islam belongs to all of us and not just you.